Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Sanjay Mattu with the Midday News. The headlines. Final National Register of Citizens published for Assam. 3 crore 11 lakh applicants included in the final list, 19 lakh 7000 excluded. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal says those excluded from final NRC can file appeals before foreigners' tribunals. In Uttar Pradesh, a complete ban on polythene bags comes into force from tomorrow. In cricket, India to resume play at overnight score of 264 for 5 against the West Indies on the second day of final test at Kingston. The much-awaited, updated, final list of the National Register of Citizens, or NRC, has been released in Assam. Names of 3 crore 11 lakh applicants have been included in the final NRC, while 19 lakh 7,000 have been excluded. The NRC is an exercise to identify Indian citizens living in Assam, a state marked by illegal migration from Bangladesh. The NRC State Coordinator's Office said in Guwahati that the status of both inclusion and exclusion can be checked online on the NRC website www.nrcassam.nic.in. The hard copies of the supplementary list of inclusions are available for public viewing at the NRC Seva Kendras, offices of the Deputy Commissioners and offices of the Circle Officer during office hours. Assam Chief Minister Sarbanand Sonowal has urged the people to maintain peace and tranquility in the state. Talking to the media, he assured that those excluded from the final NRC will not be detained and they can appeal against their exclusion in the foreigners' tribunals. Indian Home Ministry has very clearly notified that whoever name will be excluded, they will get ample opportunity to appeal in the FT court. And the earlier time period was 60 days, but it has been extended for the convenience of the people for 120 days. So as long as appeal is there, no one will be treated as foreigners. In this regard, I appeal all of you to maintain peace and tranquility in the state of Assam. The Assam government will establish 400 foreigners' tribunals in the state to deal with such appeals. It's for the first time since 1951 that the NRC has been updated in Assam to identify bona fide residents. The process of the updation of NRC is being carried out by the Registrar General of India and is being closely monitored by the Supreme Court. The process started in 2013 as per an order of the Apex Court. The NRC has immense significance for the people of Assam as the state witnessed a six-year-long movement between 1979 and 1985 seeking detection and deportation of illegal Bangladeshis. The first NRC draft was published on the midnight of 31st December 2017, which included names of 1 crore 90 lakh people out of 3 crore 29 lakh applicants. On 30th July 2018, the second and final draft was published, bearing the names of over 2 crore citizens of Assam. Names of around 40 lakh 7,000 people were not included. When the NRC was first prepared in Assam in 1951, the state had 80 lakh citizens. According to the 2011 census, the state's total population is over 3 crore 11 lakhs. Talking to AIR, Deputy Commissioner of Sivasagar, Dr. S. Lakshmanan said, everything is going on smoothly and peacefully. All our 47 numbers of NSKs covered under four different circles of the district. We have arranged all kind of security as well as basic amenities to the public who are visiting the NSKs and we believe that all the things will go very smoothly and peacefully throughout the district. Reacting to the publication of the final NRC list, Information and Broadcasting Minister Prakash Javlekar said there's nothing to worry as the Assam government has assured that those whose names have not been included will be given the opportunity to file appeals in the foreigners' tribunals. NRC के बारे में आसाम सरकार ने स्पष्ट किया है कि जिनके नाम नहीं है उनको अपील में जाने का अधिकार है और अपील में न्याय होगा इसलिए घबराने की डरने की इसमें कोई स्थिति नहीं है। Assam BJP Vice President Vijay Gupta has said there's a need to see who are among the 19 lakh people excluded from the NRC. He said it must be ensured that no genuine citizen is left out. 
Bodo People's Front leader and senior minister Pramila Rani Brahma said all genuine people must be included in the list. She urged people not to worry because the government is willing to help them. Senior Congress spokesperson Apurva Bhattacharya said the BJP-led government of the state will be solely responsible if the spirit behind the updated NRC is not protected. In Jammu and Kashmir, the situation continues to show marked improvement, especially in the valley with each passing day. Yesterday, some minor restrictions were imposed in Srinagar City and other towns as a preventive measure ahead of Friday congregational prayers, which passed off peacefully. Meanwhile, healthcare services in Kashmir are being provided as usual. Nearly 5,000 major surgeries have been performed at hospitals in Srinagar since the 5th of this month till date. Our correspondent has the details. Besides surgeries, the general health care services provided to patients in these hospitals during this period has been business as usual with around 95,000 patients seen in their OPDs and over 10,000 patients admitted for treatment in their IPDs. Routine laboratory investigations and radiological procedures like MRI and CT scan performed in these hospitals during the period add up to over 1 lakh. Primary health care across Kashmir has also been busy as usual with things picking up feed after eat. In Srinagar alone, some 30,000 patients were seen in OPDs and around 1,100 admitted in IPDs of different centers. These figures are a clear indication that healthcare services in the Kashmir Valley have been delivering as usual. Besides, there is no shortage of medicines anywhere in Kashmir Valley and news reports suggesting shortage of medicines or healthcare crisis in Kashmir are basis. RK Rana, AR News, Jammu. Today is the last date for filing income tax returns. The IT department had yesterday dismissed social media reports which claimed that the government has extended the due date for filing of ITRs by a month. In a tweet, the income tax department has advised people to file their returns by today. On the 23rd of July, the government had extended the due date for filing income tax returns by individuals for the financial year 2018-19 by a month till the 31st of August. The earlier deadline was the 31st of July. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, run the clock. Follow us on Twitter at the rate AIR News Alerts. A complete ban on use of polythene bags will come into force in Uttar Pradesh from tomorrow. Additional Chief Secretary Home, Avanish Avasthi, said local police stations and its in charges will be held responsible for non compliance of the government order in this regard. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath had vowed last year to make Uttar Pradesh plastic and polythene free. The Allahabad High Court had also banned the use of polythene in the state. The government has said that alternative things will be made available to the people. In Maharashtra, at least 10 persons were killed and 43 others injured in a cylinder explosion at a chemical factory in Dhule district today. The police said at least 100 workers were present inside the factory located at Vaghadi village in Shirpur Taluka when the incident occurred around 9.45 this morning. The injured have been shifted to Dhule District Hospital. The police, disaster management and the fire brigade are conducting rescue operations. The entire month of September, beginning tomorrow, will be celebrated as the Rashtriya Portion Ma. The Prime Minister's overreaching scheme for holistic nourishment, or Portion Abhyan, is a multi-ministerial convergence mission with the vision to address malnutrition with a targeted approach by 2022. Speaking about malnutrition in his Man Ki Baat program last month, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, due to lack of awareness, both poor and affluent families are affected by it. आज जागरूकता के अभाव में कुपोषण से गरीब भी और संपन्न भी दोनों ही तरह के परिवार प्रभावित हैं पूरे देश में सितंबर महीना पोषण अभियान के रूप में मनाया जाएगा आप जरूर इससे जुड़िए जानकारी लीजिए कुछ नया जोड़िए आप भी योगदान दीजिए अगर आप एकाज व्यक्ति को भी कुपोषण से बाहर लाते हैं मतलब हम देश को कुपोषण से बाहर लाते हैं Earlier, Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani had appealed to the stakeholders, including Anganwadi workers, to reach out to every household with the message of five mantras, including importance of the first thousand days of a child and the fight against anemia and diarrhea. Portion ke paas sutra hai. Agaan portion ma me paas sutra ko hum har har le jaye, to mai mantri ke naate pritak jo hoon. Bacche ke pehle hazaar dil, अनीमिया से हमारी लड़ाई 
डायरिया से हमारी लड़ाई पर्सनल हाइजीन और पौष्टिक है क्या उसका ज्ञान परिवारों को देना पोषण अभियान वॉज लॉन्च बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन मार्च लास्ट ईयर फ्रॉम झुंझुनू इन राजस्थान The program aims at achieving improvement in the nutritional status of children up to 6 years of age, adolescent girls, pregnant women and lactating mothers. India's second lunar probe Chandrayaan-2 is all set to reach a polar synchronous orbit around the moon tomorrow. ISRO said in a release that the final round of the lunar bound orbit reducing maneuver would be held by 6 p.m. tomorrow to reach the circular path. It's planned to take the integrated lunar craft Chandrayaan-2 consisting of the orbiter, lander Vikram and rover Pragyan in about a 100 km distant path around the moon with the last such operation. A similar operation held yesterday evening was a resounding success as it reached the intended path. The lander carrying the rover is set to make a soft landing near the lunar south pole on the 7th of next month. More from our correspondent It is smooth sailing all along for Chandrayaan 2 since its launch in July 22nd. To look back briefly about its journey so far, five rounds of Earth-bound orbit racing maneuvers were completed by the ISRO on the 6th of this month, leading to the beginning of its straight journey to the moon on the last 14th, followed by its capture around the lunar centric orbit on the 20th. Such maneuvers are being made using a controlled burning of fuel on board the orbit of Chandrayaan 2. After the separation from the orbiter, the engine burn operation would shift to the lander, which will be held two times before initiating its powered descent on lunar soil, as said by ISRO earlier. Jay Singh, AR News, Chennai. Some international news now. In Hong Kong, thousands of pro-democracy protesters defied a police ban on rallying today, a day after several leading activists and lawmakers were arrested in a sweeping crackdown. Police banned a planned demonstration on security grounds after last weekend saw some of the most violent clashes in three months of political turmoil, but nevertheless warned residents to expect severe disruption. Police erected fresh barricades near the highly guarded liaison office, the department that represents China's central government, and water cannons were driven onto the streets in anticipation of renewed clashes. In an attempt to sidestep the protest ban, crowds carried crosses after calling on protesters to form religious gatherings which do not require the same stringent permission from authorities. In the United States, an influential group of three lawmakers has sought assurance from the Trump administration that it will make available to the Congress the full text of any agreement signed with the Taliban. In a letter to the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, the three congressmen also sought assurances that any deal signed would verifiably require the Taliban to break ties with all its terrorist allies, including in Pakistan, and that withdrawal of U.S. troops will be conditioned on an agreement between the Afghan government and the Taliban. In the letter, the congressmen, Tom Malinowski, Mike Gallagher and Brad Sherman, asked for a written commitment that there will be no secret understanding or annexes with the Taliban that will not be shared with the Congress. In cricket, India will resume play at their overnight score of 264 for 5 against the West Indies on the second day of the fin final test at Sabina Park in Kingston, Jamaica. The match will begin at 8 p.m. Indian time. G.H. Vihari with 42 and R.R. Pant with 27 runs are on the crease. Skipper Virat Kohli scored 76 runs and Mayank Agarwal made 55 on the opening day. All India Radio will broadcast a bilingual commentary on the match alternately in Hindi and English. It can be heard on the Rajdhani, FM Rainbow Network and additional frequencies. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Final National Register of Citizens published for Assam, 3 crore 11 lakh applicants included in the final list, 19 lakh 7000 excluded. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal says those excluded from final NRC can file appeals before foreigners tribunals. In Uttar Pradesh a complete ban on polythene bags comes into force from tomorrow. In cricket India to resume play at overnight score of 264 for 5 against the West Indies on the second day of final test at Kingston. And for details of these stories and more log on to our website newsonair.com. And with that we end the midday news.